All right, everyone, CPO here, and I finally have a, uh, a flight-ready uh, FPV setup. I'm not quite done with the Bixler General uh, radio setting setup. I just put this uh, FreeSky receiver in for the first time, and I haven't, uh, haven't spent any time in Companion 9X yet configuring how I want things. Uh, but right now, um, it is ready to go for FPV flying, uh, including... Uh, I'm loaded with two batteries and, uh, you know, have a good um, balance point. So my COG, I believe, is right. And uh, I'm actually running uh, off of uh, two separate batteries, one battery uh, for the FPV gear and one battery for the plane. And then on top of that, um, I do have this ground station that I've built, so you can see... Uh, that is getting the live feed, and I'll show you a little bit more about the ground station uh, next. So let's uh, let's take a look at the plane first. So this is it. Um, basically, what I have is a little uh, FPV pod here uh, that is all self-contained. With uh, and I, I was going to bundle these together, but I wanted to wait to show you guys uh, what I have going on here. And basically, I'm just connected. Uh, to a battery in the nose and it's all independent of everything else. Alright, so taking a look at my little power pod here, uh, pretty rudimentary uh, setup. I basically built a little stand. It's pointed a little bit down uh, and uh, I think gives me a good view. I won't know till I get into the air, but right now I'm shooting for two-thirds ground and one-third sky uh, in the view. Uh, this is just a cheap little wood stand and uh, foam in the middle. I wanted to have some airflow because I know the camera gets hot so I wanted to have plenty of airflow around it and then of course I have the receiver module is uh, is fastened to the back with a velcro strap and then has the, the wires pointing down below. Uh, let me go ahead and unplug this from the battery. So once removed from the battery you can see all of my FPV components are self-contained in this little pod. Um, I used, uh, I found in the local hobby shop, I found some of these uh, little Dean's micro connectors, and that's what I'm using to connect uh, all of my gear. So this is the one harness that comes out of the uh, video transmitter, just as it comes. And I'm not using uh, the two audio. And thank you, uh, I can't remember the name, I'm so sorry, I'll put it on the screen here. Uh, somebody, uh, commented in one of my earlier videos and told me that the the green is actually a uh, part of stereo audio so um, uh, white and uh, and green are you know left and right channels so I did not know that uh, and that makes perfect sense now but I'm not using audio so those two are left free which is why I don't have any pins uh, for those two um, in this setup so one thing you'll note, the way I have it set up is such that uh, you can see my uh, power, uh, ground and power to, uh, to output to the camera are on the one side. Uh, what that means is, even if I accidentally plug this thing in backwards, I do zero harm to anything because there's uh, basically ends up nothing going anywhere. Uh, so I can't actually wire it wrong, which is uh, handy for me to have. So once I get out of that, uh, then I am going to um, ground. And uh, one thing I did is I made a common ground here between the, uh, the video feed and the uh, power feed to the camera. Uh, again, using more of these little Dean's micro connectors. These things are really cool. Um, so this is out of my camera USB, uh, this is for the power, this is for the video, and basically uh, I showed you before I didn't necessarily need to connect the grounds because they're connected in the USB cable, but I connected them anyway, and I thought that way if for some reason I decide to power the, uh, the camera through just internal battery power and I chose to uh, unplug for whatever reason, the power going to the camera, I'll still have that ground. Uh, I didn't want the uh, the BEC basically to provide the only ground to the camera. So, so that's that. Um, 
And then I still have my feed coming out to power the video transmitter. Uh, and that's the same as it came with this little uh, JST plug. And then I'm using a JST to XT60 converter to get it into the battery. So one battery is powering this whole little block. And uh, one thing you'll notice is all of the video stuff is up front. All of the plain stuff is in the back. So all the servo wires, the, uh, the receiver for the plane, it's all behind the forward, uh, uh, forward edge of the wing. So all the video stuff can stay up here. And what I'll do is I'll probably bundle this up just like that, uh, leaving my power free. And then basically, uh, as you can see, that'll just clip down into there and then be good to go. Uh, the way I have this set up here uh, with the USB cable, it actually puts enough pressure. I feel comfortable that it's going to hold it in uh, because I've got that kind of push the way I have it. So uh, I think it's going to work out great. Of course, everything is removable. Um, this is Velcroed on, so it can come off. This is just strapped in. It could come off. Uh, but I think it'll be solid enough for, for in-flight. So that's that. So now let's look at the rest of the plane. This obviously will be a little bit harder to demonstrate with the wings on. Um, but what you can see is my receiver. Uh, one of my receiver wires is running straight up the top here in a vertical orientation. The other wire is running back uh, inside the boom. So this is just a little coffee stirrer. Uh, here that I'm using um, to uh, to hold that wire. I didn't want it to blow back into the propeller at all. So I've got this little coffee stirrer and uh, once I get everything together I think I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue right there uh, to lock it down. But I wanted to show you how everything looks before I do that. So if I pop off my little side patch here, my little side panel, uh, you can see Basically, back in there is my uh, receiver. Probably really hard to see. Um, all of my servo cables are bound up right here. Again, I've got the one antenna coming straight up, the other one going straight back. Um, ESC is, of course, on top of the wing. So that's that. I think that that's plenty of separation uh, between the video uh, transmitter and the uh, receiver and I think that this should be a minimalistically interfering design. It is uh, you know a work in progress this is my first FPV setup so my plan was just to get something in the air and running I can always uh, tweak it uh, as I go and uh, kind of refine it. Right now distance isn't my goal it's just getting a working system that will be uh, you know, line of sight flyable, but I can also start to learn FPV with it as well. So now let's talk about the ground station. So this is my ground station, which as you can see is getting no feed because I just unplugged my uh, video transmitter. But let me, let me plug that back in. Re-engage the camera. And you should see that uh, fire up. So that's basically uh, the plane looking at the ground station. So you'll see from the ground station um, kind of some interesting things going on here. Uh, first of all, I do have this sun shroud, uh, which is made out of Dollar Tree foam that's been min-waxed. Uh, basically, I just built a, uh, a box around it. Uh, I have my receiver up on top getting plenty of air also giving me opportunity to get this antenna where I want it. Down the back you can see I've got my wires uh, all tied in uh, and then drops down. This is just an old uh, tripod, actually a junker tripod that I would never use anymore for real camera work. And then I just have the battery strapped to one of the legs here. And then uh, right now the wires are just hanging down um, but uh, I'll bundle those up to get them out of the way. And how I have this battery configured basically out of my wires here one of these uh, is the power to the 
video receiver and then one of these is the power to my monitor which could take uh, if you recall correctly from my last video 9 to 12 volts it's designed to be plugged into a car cigarette lighter so uh, that came in handy so this is the wire going to it and then I basically just pigtailed these into a XT60 connector uh, with these two GSTs uh, hanging off of it uh, so when I plug in this to the battery it powers both my receiver and my monitor. The back, this is one of those uh, tripods with the removable uh, base. So I don't know if you can see, but the, uh, the display is actually just kind of st stuck in there. And I can pull it out. And it's that base that once clipped in holds everything together. Probably harder to show you on camera than it would be uh, just in person. So that's it. Quite a simple design. Um, basically, uh, airplane and, uh, and an FPV uh, monitor. So uh, I don't have any goggles yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to upgrade to goggles or not. Uh, this will be my first time to fly. So I just wanted something that I could uh, throw together uh, out uh, in my flying area. Uh, get a feel for it, see what it what it's like, and uh, and then go from there. So that's it. Um, next is uh, set up my plane uh, and get it uh, configured the way I want it in the transmitter, and then I get to go flying. So uh, hopefully, uh, if the weather holds out, I'll get a maiden on the FPV system in the next few days. Just depends on how the weather uh, is going to do. It's not been so great lately. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.